Before we start the roof, I just wanted to point out one of the functions of what we call parametricism. The idea that if I move one component, other components are hooked to it. For instance, if I select this wall and I move it out, you'll notice the two sidewalls stay connected to it. And I'm going to do control Z to go back. And so that's a really powerful tool. It allows, it makes it easier for you to maybe change dimensions that you might be interested in. Um, just by selecting a surface and then deciding to change a parameter that goes along with it. So let's start our roof now. We're going to start on level one and we're going to pick the roof tool and we're going to do a roof by footprint. That means we're going to use the exterior walls as the boundary for it, the footprint. So I'm going to select that. And the first thing it's going to do is give me a warning that you can't draw a roof on level one because that would be putting the roof on the floor. We need to move up to level two and we're going to say yes. We're going to remain on level one, but the roof construction will happen up on level two. And we're going to use a new tool now. It's called the Pick Walls tool. And this allows us to roll over and select walls. But before we do, I want to review another couple of settings. One is the check mark having defined slope means that every line we pick will have a slope to it. I want to give the roof a little bit of an overhang, a two foot overhang. So I'm going to place two in there. And now I think I'm ready to start. I'm on my base level of level two and I'm ready to start picking walls. Now you'll notice as I roll over the wall, I get a little indication of which way the overhang is going. So if I move just a little bit left or right, it'll indicate outside and that's where I want it. So I'm gonna just go through now and select all of those surfaces. And you'll notice once I picked it, I'm getting this little triangle showing me that it's, it's default as a nine and 12 inch slope. That means for every 12 inches you go horizontally, the roof goes up nine inches vertically. So I've completed that shape now. And if I haven't completed it, um, the software will give us a warning that we haven't and ask us to complete or add the final wall. So I'm gonna hit the check mark. And the wall has been constructed, but it's not showing up on level two. And that's because it's up on, or excuse me, it's not showing on level one, it's because it's on level two. So I'll click to that. And this is the first thing that makes uh, students or new people, uh, new users, a little uncomfortable about the roof tool. Um, we're at level two and it looks like there's a big hole in the roof. And that's because of the way the plan views function. They always look from the level going up only four feet. And so anything above four feet doesn't show. And now that makes it apparent or look like there's actually a hole in the roof when there's not. And we can verify that by going to the 3D view. And there's a roof constructed. Now we can quickly change the pitch of this roof. This is a steep pitched roof, but we can change it to something much more shallow just by selecting the roof and typing in a three instead of a nine. And now the roof pitch gets shallower. And I'll just undo that, or I'll try to undo that. Control Z and we're back to that roof pitch. Next we'll take a look at doors and windows.